Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications of whenever I'm dropping content on the channel. And now onto the topic of this video, and it's just a general update video, a lot going on in the game this week. So first off, let's start with events. Horror from the Ruins is back again this week. You will be able to use any anniversary vouchers that you didn't use in the previous exchange shop last week so uh, you can also still accumulate more uh, exchange vouchers this week until the end of the week with the horror for the, from the ruins as usual you can only obtain 20 vouchers per day by attacking marauders or destroyers the first 20 you attack will give you an anniversary voucher you also get some random resource chests and also 50, uh, 20 gems each time as well Let's have a quick look at the Benefit Center and the new exchange shop. So there will still be the opportunities to get the free skin, Hidden Garden skin, both permanent 30 day and three day options. I've already recruited, uh, obtained the permanent option last week in this account. Other, other items available in the exchange shop, well we do have another 10 super recruitment tickets which will cost you free vouchers each, so that's another 10 for uh, free to play players to pick up before we all start our seasonal recruitment coming soon. You'll also be able to get ba batches of 3 1 hour speed ups, 2 times 100,000 hero XP, 15 wisdom medals, then some gold and resources and uh, resource chests. So um, it's an okay bundle. Let's talk about, I mean, the, again, a lot of people have been saying that the design of the free skin was really disappointing. The re, the thinking behind it, doing a free skin for players um, was a nice idea, finally getting uh, given us all a chance to get a free skin. Um, but yeah, I really hope, I well, one, I hope they do more free skins in the future periodically through the year. And if they do, then can they please make the designs uh, a little bit better? I think that would be a nice touch. Um, extra super recruitment tickets of course um, really good usually you only get the chance for three recruitment tickets in the exchange shop so having 10 again is nice as some people have commented on from uh, last week it would have been nice now if we started getting super dragonite and war badges um, in these exchange shops as well I think particularly for players in advanced stages of the game um, that would be like a fair um, option to have and, and just another avenue for free to play players to be able to obtain these kind of consumables as it is very difficult to accumulate a lot of them uh, you know most most people are getting a, a large proportion of those from the honor shop each season so that is exchange shop also confirmed today so i did a lot of people including myself noticed that um you were not getting copies of cleopatra egypt queen um, of her medal, we we're not getting copies of her medal in the arena once um, you had either discarded her or once you had combined um, extra versions of her when you'd already unlocked her. I did uh, feed that back to the devs and um, as you see earlier today they have uh, done an adjustment and now Egypt Queen medals should be available in the arena as normal and you can just exchange them for wisdom medals um, if you're not going to use them for upgrading her skills. Also, changes to province immigration this week. So, two different things. First off, let's talk about um, optimization as it's uh, referenced here. So, um, the Imperium Administratum decided to optimize some immigration rules to ensure a better immigration experience. Now, this is available for states 1 to 360, they announced in official Discord. After the optimization, the emperor of a semi-open province in the middle of the off-season will have five chances to invite other lords to join his province. Other immigration rules will remain the same. So you still have to use immigration tickets, for instance. You will have to have enough immigration tickets to move. There are slight changes to the province immigration screen. So, as before, if you could... Um, if if a state had grand opening you could just head to that state head to the province and then click on it and um, you could migrate there um, as long as you had enough tickets now also for the sense so this is relates to semi-open states you can see that you as an individual can apply for immigration to be one of those five players who can move to that state but of course there's no guarantees that the emperor would allow you maybe i'm sure there's going to be uh, quite a long waiting list for these top states the only difference in this screen is if you are uh, the emperor, then it will have like a, I think it's just, it says review for your state. 
and when you click on that you'll be able to see the players that have applied for immigration and uh, then you have the option as the emperor to either accept or decline those applications and I believe you can probably also click on a castle and invite them to, to immigrate to you but it is limited to five players and it is during the off season of Reign of Chaos so once the season is uh, started which um, is next week that Monday the 4th of July you won't be able to do this function so anyone looking to move they need to do it and use this um, application feature you need to move this week the other thing that they have updated in the mail today is also regarding immigration. So an adjustment has been made to the immigration feature to ensure a better gaming environment, specifically the time when the castle immigration limit and the rating refresh every day will now be the same. Now that is referring to, again, and we have to go back into the province immigration. So if you click on a state, it gives this information at the bottom that no more than 300 castles can be immigrated to the province each day and the rankings refresh every hour starting from around 0 10 game time now basically what we've seen is that and this is definitely what 265 the migration to 265 did in the last 24 48 hours um, because that state jumps from 3g power to 23g and if you compare that to 177 they've got 16g um, 127 have got 21 and a half G and state 37 have got 19 G so uh, look huge migration and what what happened was um, obviously the rank the ratings refresh every hour like I've stated before and as it states in the game at 10 minutes past the hour but the limit on the 300 castles was resetting at dead on reset so what people were doing was at game time 23 10 onwards so for the last 50 minutes of the day 300 castles migrated to that province then it hit the limit and then at reset there was 10 minutes for another 300 castles to um, emigrate there before on the next day's 300 castle limit before then the province immigration rating refreshed at 10 minutes past after reset and then it cut off and became semi-open so the devs have changed that now you won't be able to uh, migrate more than 300 castles per day um, because they have now linked the migration rating um, so that you uh, with the with the limit so there we go that's interesting I mean do I think it's personally for me I don't agree that they've just changed it now like we've they've allowed the players that have gone to 265 to do that migration we only have another four or five days of um, time in which people can migrate to other states for it to be a fair playing field for everyone personally if it was me I would have changed the migration settings and um, rules next week at the start of the season so that everyone knew for the next season where we stood with it but there we go um, they've done it this way and that's how it's going to be also just quickly we have a new skin this week castle of the king um, it's got pretty good stats plus 10 percent army might and defense permanent attributes so 1.5 percent extra siege might and two percent cavalry resistance uh, it's available for well it's a 50 dollar pack 48 pounds 49 here in the uk and um, you do if once you buy the pack you do get the skin guaranteed so that's on uh, by the looks of it oh it's actually only available for another uh, day in fact sorry uh, so if anyone's looking to get that skin uh, you'll need to have to move fast and then finally, uh, the main announcement, as you can see at the bottom on the right hand side there, is scheduled for the new season. So the devs have announced, uh, done a preliminary announcement this, this morning regarding the new season. So the next season of Reign of Chaos will be starting on Monday the 4th of July. That will be sign up week. And for states 1 to 184, we will have the SX12 Heroes season SX12 and it will be Royal Clash Dominion. That's what they're calling it. Um, that is actually going to be a four-way factions Eden map, um, which won't have wonders. That's what I'm being told. So basically, states 1 to 184, four-way factions. Um, so the map will have to be obviously split into quarters with a central zone. And um, yeah, no wonders. So I think uh, the no wonders element is good because um, I know a lot of players were getting frustrated that um, it was all... it 
was becoming less competitive because of the wonders, the fact that top spenders were you know, getting so many extra buffs from um, constantly spending on it. People were getting fed up with having to you know, use so many crystals and speed ups and everything on the buildings. It was good for some people that you got to have points on buildings day. I did like that element of it. Um, but yeah, having a break from wonders for at least this season I think is a nice change. States 185 to 296 are going to have season SX11 heroes and then states 297 to 360 are going to have SX10. They haven't made any announcements or given any information for states below from 361 onwards. As soon as I get the full announcement I will do a separate video confirming all of that information. I would expect that 185 to 360 you guys would have wonders um, in a two faction environment similar to what we've had in 1 to 184. Uh, the past couple of seasons that would be my expectations to be honest with you uh, but we will wait and see that that announcement should be made in the next 48 hours i suspect so there we go guys just a reasonably quick video kind of updating you on various items and points um, i have raised various multiple items with the devs in terms of things that you've been raising with concerns about the game um, i am waiting for feedback from them on all these kind of multiple items as soon as i hear updates about things like the clear middle middle issue that they fixed today then i will um, make everyone aware in videos if if there is anything directly related to uh, the feedback that I've given them, which I really, really hope they do uh, take on board the feedback of of yourselves, the whole community, and and what I am what I am giving back to them and explaining back to them uh, in regards to um, think elements of the game that people aren't happy with. So that is it for now. If you've liked this video, please do click on that like, and if you could please share my video, this video and my channel in your online chat, private chat, through Line WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game. That would be very much appreciated. Of course, you are more than welcome to pop your comments in the comments section down below. Lots of things going on this week. Um, what do you think about the fact that they've done another exchange shop and some more super tickets? Is that a good thing? Could you know? Would you like to see Super Dragonite and War War badges in in the exchange shop in the future? The changes to immigration rules do you think being able to invite five players uh, to a large state is a good idea there's a little bit more flexibility there um, and the fact that they've changed this castle limit rules um, in the middle of the off season what are your thoughts on that maybe people were looking to migrate this week and um, people are now having to change their plans at the last minute and of course what are your thoughts on the new season it's starting next week for us in seasons one to 360 um yeah get ready to uh, lose that sleep all over again guys so um, please do put your comments in the comment section down below that's it for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon